Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at this um, newer bus model diecast uh, that was released at some point in 2022. Now, uh, I don't know what you really want to call this because it does look like a vision, but it's obviously not a licensed vision. Um, so we'll just refer to it as a vision for the sake of the video, but um, I guess it's it's up to you what you actually want to call this. The box it came in is in Chinese, so I don't know who made this, and I don't know, uh, I mean, I know they're calling it a school bus, but I don't know, um, what, you know, what else they're calling it, really. Uh, so, you know, this is something that's relatively new, and it probably looks familiar body-wise if you have any of these die-cast buses that are that you can see in the background. Um, so this model is based off, um, from what I can tell, it's based off of one of these right here, which is um, just your generic Bluebird S-series looking bus. Um, nothing, you know, real special. I, I feel like most of you guys have seen these and probably have them. Uh, but the Vision is basically it, it has that same body design for the most part. Um, the rear end has a lot more detail for what it is. And then, you know, that's that's pretty much what it is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just take a look at this and, and compare it to the uh, international version of this. Um, and then just kind of look at it with some of the other models or buses that are in this size range um, in case you have them and you know want to make a comparison or see how they would work or see how one of these would work within your fleet of buses so first off we're going to just take a little look at this bus um, so obviously the first thing you notice is the front end is that of a uh, bluebird vision um, which is interesting um, and then you can see that the lights, the warning lights are plastic inserts just like they were on the international version of this. Now, coming to the side, the thing that I find interesting is the entrance door is one piece, one piece of plastic. So it actually looks like it's, um, you know, it's got glass or windows rather in the door versus just, you know, the door being metal and not having any, uh, windows in it. Um... Aside from that, like, the body is pretty much the same. I mean, this right here is a little different from the other model. Uh, the wheels, I don't really care for these wheels. I don't think they fit the bus, personally. Um, but at least they're, you know, they don't look too cheap. And then you have tin windows on the side. Um, on the roof, you got your two um, hatches or vents, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then on the back... I think they did really well with the back end of this bus. I mean, that, to me, that's a Bluebird rear end. Um, there's no getting around that. And I think they did a, a really good job modeling that um, compared to the International. You have a plate on the driver's side, and then you have a bus number on the passenger side, and it says stop on signal on the rear door. Um, moving to the driver's side, you have your stop sign, which is fixed to the bus. It does not open. Um, and then you have your... I believe that's a spot for, yeah, you've got a spot for a battery door, um, which has improved from the International, which, again, I don't, I'm pretty sure that this is not made by the same people who made the International, but you can tell that they took a lot of design features from the International for this model. So this actually has like a little battery door, whereas the the uh, International has what looks like maybe a, a fuel door. So I'll, I'll show you guys in a second when we compare the models. Um, but, you know, anyways, that's pretty much the model. Um, here's the bottom. Um, it also has a wind-up motor. Um, but that's the bottom of the model. The door, I do like the, uh, the twist piece for the bottom of the door. It's easier to grab. It's not just a little stick. I'll show you what I mean with the other bus. But this is a lot easier to grab if you're trying to open and close the door. Um, so that's the gist of the vision. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the International and kind of look at these two together for a minute here. So obviously um, they they actually do uh, size up pretty well together. I think that they 
the bodies are about the same size um, when you take them together. I mean, they, they are the same size. It's kind of hard to show you, but um, the length of the bodies are the same. And this is what I'm talking about with the rear ends. You can tell that the rear end on the Vision has a lot more Bluebird detail than the rear end on the S-Series looking bus. The rear end on the uh, International, it doesn't really look Bluebird to me. I mean, I can see where it has that look, but the rear door is too boxy. Um, the roof cap just doesn't really look Bluebird, but... Um, you know, it does say stop when red lights flash, and it has a number, and it's got the tail lights and all that stuff, and it has an insert for the warning lights and the tail or the brake turn and reverse lights, um, and it also does have a bus number and a plate on it. So I mean, there there are some differences. It, the vision, the tail lights are molt like a part of the metal part of the bus. They're just painted on, um, and I think that adds. I mean, the the lights being plastic inserts is cool. It does add that, that realistic look to it. Um, but I do like the way it looks with it painted on. I think that the rear end of the Vision looks really good. Um, the one thing I will point out is that the Vision actually has visors on its uh, warning lights. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but it has visors on its warning lights, whereas this does not. It's just a flat piece of plastic. Um, so that's another difference there. Uh, Roof-wise, they're they're the same. Um, so this is what I was talking about when you come to the sides of the bus. This right here is just a little bit different. Um, and I think the rub rails are also a little bit like this bottom rub rail. They're the same in the fact that the top rub rails are painted and the bottom rub rail is yellow. But this bottom rub rail has like a line in between it. Um, and the side the the top rub rails don't they're just flat um just like these rub rails are it also says school bus but um the word school bus is a little bit smaller on the vision uh you can see the difference in the entrance doors this is like i was saying just a a metal door with no um window it like simulated glass or you know however you want to say that um and then you'll see what i mean about the door so this just has this little thing that you would move with your finger whereas this has the whole little piece that you can actually grab so i feel like it's a lot easier to open and close the door on that but that's um pretty much you know that's the two entrance doors you'll also see that this entrance door does not fit snug in the door frame like this one does um, it's not flush, as you would say, I guess. Um, and then the front, I did forget to compare the roof caps. Um, this, again, it's the plastic insert, and it does have the visors on here, whereas the visors on this roof cap are molded as a part of the actual metal part of the bus. And, um, I did like this, like, that. that is an absolute Bluebird roof cap right there. See, I feel like if you had this roof cap and that rear end you know this roof cap might need to be a little bit bigger to kind of match size wise but you know that to me both of those scream bluebird um so all in all it it i think it does look good for what it is um and they they do go together fairly well in my opinion um but anyways like this vision i do recommend it uh, as if this is a scale that you um, have a lot of or you're modeling a fleet or whatever, I do recommend it. However, these visions, um, as far as I know, they're not, they're still being exported. So I, I'm pretty sure for you to buy these, it comes from China or somewhere out of the U.S. Um, so then it has to be uh, exported. Um, so it's going to cost you a little bit. It's not going to be like, the less than ten dollars that one of these would have cost you when they were new um but this did come in a box i don't know if they all come in a box i will i'll show you the box but it's literally most of it's in chinese so like it comes in in this box right here um and you can see it like school bus stop and it actually is mounted in the box when you get it but it's in chinese and i don't know any of that um, it does say scale model in English up there, but other than that, um, I don't know, you get a picture of the front of the bus on the, on the side there, but over here, it does show you that the bus can 
wind up and then I think it's pointing out that the door opens and then there's a side view of the bus but all in all I th you know it is it is a very interesting little die cast model and it is cool it's cool to get something a little bit different in that that range um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show it off with some of these other models in this scale uh, range and um, just so you can kind of see what they look like with some of these other buses. All right, so the first one is this um, 3800 Carpenter looking bus that's got an improper opening hood. So I think these two actually go together fairly well. Um, it's not like one is way taller than the other or anything. Um, I hate how this one does not have a stop sign. I've always hated that. Um, but, you know, they, they do fit together if you had them in a fleet. Like this one's slightly taller, but I don't really think it makes like it's not that big of a difference. So all in all, I think those do go to those do go good together. Um, I've already looked at it with the uh, Bluebirds. If some of you who have been watching my videos for the last ten years, um, this and this probably look familiar because those are two of my um, we can call them OG models. Um, back when I had my white roof and black hood on everything phase. Uh, this bus got logo pushback on one side, but not the other. Um, so I just kind of set those in the background just to, you know, give you something to look at. Um, the next bus is like the generic S-Series Wayne. Um, this goes about the same as it would with the uh, S-Series Bluebird. Um, the Vision is has a little bit more height on it, though. So that's the one thing if you don't like your models. Um, not being the same height, like that's the one thing to watch for there. Me personally, I I prefer to have if I'm like modeling a fleet, and I'm just noticing that the body on this bus is a little bent up. Um, but anyways, um, if I'm modeling a fleet, me personally, I like them to be about all the same size. I don't like the little differences like this because it's not realistic. Um, so, you know, all in all, these two, I, I mean, they do go to, together, but the Wayne looks a little bit smaller. Um, and I love how this laid law bus that I have, this is got a bent body. That's wonderful. I don't know how I never noticed that before. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so that's the, the S-Series Wayne looking bus. Um, the next one is the... Uh, Thomas ER generic little bus so again it's kind of a height thing the vision is just a little bit taller um, but you know it's it's about that size of model so I don't feel like they wouldn't go together well it just depends how you like to model your fleets uh, the next one is the 6851 Bluebird S series now this there's obviously a height difference and a length difference because this bus is kind of long um but you can see there the the difference in size um so i don't know if they would really work well together or not uh me personally i probably wouldn't have them together but that's just me um but with them being in about the uh, same approximate size like it's if you're not too picky it's you know they'll they'll go together um the next one is the 3800 now it's open to interpretation what you want to say this body is. I always have referred to it as a bluebird, but I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Um, this one is heavily modified from my black fender phase. So you can see it got black fenders. And um, I took off, I don't, I don't honestly don't know why, uh, but the side, like the factory stamp of school bus and the rub rails, gone. So I had to write that on there. Um, so this bus has seen better days, but it's another one of the OG models, and uh, there's a very big roof number on it. Um, so, you know, it's like, this bus has always been slightly smaller than a lot of the other ones in this scale. So they, you know, there's a definite size difference between the two, um, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess, so... I don't know, but that's, I mean, that's just kind of the size comparison with a lot of the models that you can get in this size range. Um, I know they made a generic 
version of the uh, Bluebird S series looking bus that you used to be able to get at uh, Target. Um, I do have one, but, but personally I hate how cheap it looks, so like it's not something I actually have within my fleet, but here it is. Um, you can see, this one's a little broken, but you can see, I mean, there, this has a cut down roof. When you compare it to what it's a knockoff of, you can see the overall difference. But, um, you know, it, I don't like this model, so I don't, I have this one because it was given to me, but I would not go out of my way to have it. Um, I'm not saying if you have one that you shouldn't have one. I'm just saying for me personally, I, I don't like them. Um, I just think they look too cheap. Um, but, you know, if that's what you have, I'm not saying you're cheap. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying, me personally, I don't care for that model. Um, so, like, you know, they do go together because they're in the same approximate range. But um, I personally just don't like this model because it just, to me, it looks horrible. But anyways, that's pretty much all the different models that are in that approximate size range. Um, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do like this model. I think it's a good model um, to get. I just don't know how easy. Well, I mean, you can get them. They're on eBay. I think you can also get them on Amazon because I'm pretty sure that's where this one came from. Um, but like I was saying, like they're kind of expensive right now. I don't know if you want to wait and see if they show up in the u.s more I, i'm not sure how what the planet like i don't know if they're meant to be coming here or not um but i definitely recommend it if you are modeling in this size it's just the fact that they're kind of hard to get a hold of uh price wise you know i've seen these on ebay for like 17 dollars and if it was me personally before i would go spend 17 dollars on this i'd just go buy a uh, a walther ce for the same price so um, I don't know, I guess that's up to you, um, based on how you, or what kind of models you like, or what you want to spend your money on, um, but I do think it's a good model for what it is, and I do recommend it, if you can get one, get one, but that's pretty much it for this video, so, um, thank you guys for watching, uh, let me know what you think, let me know if you think you're gonna end up trying to get one of these down below, and, you know, we'll see how many of you get one, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think, and yeah.